Welcome to Denver Community Media's Online Academy. I'm Austin, and today we're going to look at S-curves and DaVinci Resolve. So in Resolve, S-curves are typically going to live down here in this middle window. If you don't see it, you can click up here. And sometimes on a smaller screen, these two windows are going to get combined, so you may need to check through all these tabs up here. And today we're just going to look at this basic S-curve that is set to apply to luminance, red, green, and blue channels, and just kind of how these work. So first we'll start with our white and black points. So that's the ends over here. And what's really nice about these is you can actually adjust how this fits by just dragging to the left. What that's going to do is make it brighter. It's going to move your bright po uh, your white points up. And you can see over there on the graph it's starting to clip a lot, so it's probably a little heavy. If you want to move your white point down, let's just uh, say this image was a little bright. We could do that using the same white point but dragging it down instead of to the left. You can see it pulls it back in. Same thing on the other side, we have our black point and we can pull that up, making it a lot brighter, or we can pull it to the right, making it a little darker and dropping that black point. So once you get your black and white point set, you'll want to set up your curve for building contrast and adjusting your exposure throughout the midtones and highlights and shadows leading up to the white and black point. So what you'll do now is just click somewhere along this line and you can actually click and drag, make some quick adjustments. Um, way too much there. And you'll see, you know, you kind of get the little wave here. Typically an S-curve, uh, they're in square boxes, so this gets squished together, making a more defined S-shape. That's why they're called S-curves, but DaVinci does that rectangle one, which spreads out a little bit more. Um, this is how S-curves work. You can do a whole lot of points to control on. Uh, you just have to be careful that you don't overdo it. If you get too specific, it can start to look unnatural, make some weird isolated uh, corrections, or even invert some of your colors. And that would not be good unless that's the look you're going for. Uh, one other thing with S-curves is they can actually replace a LUT. A lot of LUTs are just very complicated S-curves. You generally need a whole lot of points along the line for that and a good eye to watch your gradations and how all your points affect that. And you could actually use a very detailed S-curve in place of a LUT. Um, this is obviously just a quick, very heavy-handed example. But that's your quick look at S-curves. I hope you found this useful. If you like more videos like this, please follow, subscribe, and give us a like.